Hello my friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing some thrift store shopping. I know a lot of you enjoy going to Goodwill with me or different thrift shops, but today we're going to Goodwill. Um, I think I'm gonna combine a couple of different trips into this one video just because it'll show you more variety of things that they had and I can do a bit a bigger thrift haul at the end um, I don't find something every time I go in there a lot of you have or some of you have commented that you don't find anything at your goodwill or that it's way overpriced and a lot of things that mine are way overpriced as well sometimes I pick them pick something up and look at this price tag and I'm like what are these people thinking but Sometimes I still find some good deals, so I'll show you what I've got. I did find a few good things um, Monday, I think it was. Somebody just pulled up beside me, and I'm just like sitting here pretending I'm not talking to a camera. <laughs> I'm talking to my friend. Don't stare. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm sitting in a parking lot. I found me a shady spot to park in and eat my lunch. I'm obsessed with Chick-fil-A Southwest salad, y'all. Like, obsessed. <laughs> um they're very good if you don't like spicy though you might not like it the chicken it's like a grilled chicken on it and it has spice on the chicken so um i don't know what kind of spice but it's just a little spicy not like a lot but a little so if you don't like any spice you probably won't like it but anyway let's get out of here we're gonna go check out goodwill start out right here on the basket aisle and today I found this basket for 99 cents that's a really good deal I think for a basket that has the liner in it for a plant and then this was a cute little basket as well I always like the ones that have the little hanging thing on the back so that you can hang it on um, like a peg rail or something like that it also had this little leaf detail around the bottom that I thought was pretty cute it'd be pretty in the fall to stick you some dried flowers or something in they had a variety of different baskets on this day if you're looking for baskets you can usually find them for a good price at Goodwill I think I've told you guys that several times now this one has an interesting little pattern on it i've never seen one quite like that before and then after the baskets comes the like dishware and things like that i thought these were really pretty you know i like the etched glass uh, but i didn't pick up any on this day they had a lot of coffee cups um, these were really pretty with a little detail around the top and these were the linux brand they had quite a few of these little cups i thought they were really cute I spotted these little false graph plates right away. They're, I've seen these before. I think I got a few of these at the flea market a while back. They had four of them and I went ahead and picked them up. You can see the false graph on the back of it. I plan to add these onto my hutch with my other dishes. They had a nice little canister set here with fruit on it. I'm sure somebody picked that up. And then down here at the bottom, they had an induction burner that was still in the box. Um, this is exactly like the one that I use. So if you don't have a stove, these things are great. I think I've had a couple of people in the comments mention that they use this cookware here. I've never used these. I think my mom may have had one at one time. I'm not sure. This one was $5. And I also found this platter. I believe this matches those little coffee cups that I found earlier because this is also a Linux um, brand. I think $2 was a very reasonable price for that. Right here I found some. These, it doesn't pick up that well on camera, but this was a purplish color um, Pyrex pie dish. They had three of them, and i would never seen any of this color before, but I thought it was really pretty. I saw several of these little pumpkin jars. I don't know what you call them, but they had a few of them that was in different places for some reason, but they were $3.99. That'd be kind of cute setting out for fall. I used to think I wanted one of these candles because I love the smell of tobacco being fired in a barn. It's a Kentucky thing, y'all. But when I smelled the candle, I was like, no, I don't want my house smelling like a barn. <laughs> 
they had a few nice um, brass candlesticks on this day. Sometimes they don't have any, and then sometimes you can find several. But they were $1.59, which is a great price. You might remember when I went to the antique store, I think they were like 8 bucks. Definitely check out Goodwill if you're looking for brass candlesticks. So I did find a few nice things at Goodwill today. I got Sophie a little stuffy that plays music and what else did I get? I already forgot. For now, I think I'm gonna go get me something to drink and then I'll probably just sit and watch YouTube and respond to some comments while I wait on Timmy the rest of the time. It's almost one o'clock and he gets out around 3.30 so, um, Oh, I do have to run in Lowe's. I gotta get some stain because I'm gonna stain my back porch and ramp pretty soon. So I wanna get that stain. That way I'll have it on hand when I'm ready. And then I think that's about it for the day. Like, I'm just tired, so <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do much else. Here, hold up. <laughs> what are you doing, Bonnie? What you doing, girl? Huh? You looking for that cat? Where's that cat? Let's put the food down here and see. Get this down there. Oh. Think she'll come back out if you put her food down there? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. The cat has been laying in my bush that I just planted. Hey. She just wants a rest. Can you see her in there? This little guy loves animals so much. He'd been trying forever to catch Snowball so that he could love on her, but usually she runs from him. But this day, she actually let him pick her up. <laughs> He's pretty, ain't she? She's got pretty blue eyes, like you. You see him wiping at his face because Snowball sheds really bad. Like, I get hair all over me every time I pick her up. 
What are we singing today, Timmy? We're going to try the chorus of Beulah Land and uh, maybe Are You Washed in the Blood. You pray real hard for me, I'll do that. <laughs> Somebody requested Beulah Land, but you don't know the whole song, right? You just uh, know the chorus? No, the chorus. Yeah. All right, well, the qu that's better than nothing, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay. Beulah Land, I'm longing for you. And someday on the stand, there my home shall be eternal. Beulah land, sweet Beulah land. That's all I know of it. I hope that's enough for right now. <laughs> I'll learn the verses and such. Good job, mm -hmm. babe. Good job. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Or be washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Or be washed in the blood of the Lamb? Or be washed in the blood? In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Good job. <laughs> You're looking mighty handsome today. You like that shirt? Thank you, thank you. I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look like somebody. <laughs> Everybody's been asking me, are you going to go see the new Elvis movie when it comes out? Well, if I can get you to take me out there. <laughs> you excited to see it? Can you give me a driver? Yeah, I'm excited to see old Tom Hanks, what he's doing. Yeah. Heard he played the Colonel. Mm -hmm. but, uh, That's what I saw. It ought to be good. We got a date. Date? Yep. Date? I'm a soulmate. <laughs> I'm obsessed, friends. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. <laughs> This has been going on for 25, 30 years. <laughs> Your Elvis obsession? Your obsession, yeah. Started when I was 14. That's the first time I ever sang on stage. When I was 14 years old. First mm -hmm. song I ever sang was Blue Sweet Shoes. Blue, blue, blue Sweet Shoes. Blue, 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 blue. Well, there's one for the money, two for the show. Three to get ready and I'll go, can't go, but don't you Step on my blue suede shoes Well, you can do anything, play off of my blue suede shoes Well, it's a blue, blue, blue suede shoes, yeah Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, baby Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, yeah Blue, blue, blue suede Well, you can do anything, but lay off of my blue suede shoes Good job. Oh, just messing around, playing around. I hope you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed going thrifting with me. I'm going to do a little thrift haul now. I'm going to show you all the things that I've picked up recently. So this is a little basket of goodies that I have here. And we'll get started with these glasses that I picked up from Goodwill. I thought these were really pretty. They have kind of a vintage look to them i don't know if they are vintage or not but they have this little detail Let's see if the camera will focus on it at the bottom and then i also like the rim around the top these were 59 cents each and i got four of them and then i also picked up these little juice glasses I thought they were pretty. I tend to go for um, dishes that have this little ribbed design. And I got four of these as well. And these are also 59 cents each. I really want to get a deeper shelf to go above my uh, kitchen counter. The one that I have now, I really like it. It's really cute, um, the white one, but it's not very deep at all. I would really like to get a deeper one to put there so that I could put my glasses on, but right now it's just not wide enough. 
deep enough, I guess is what I should say. So if I can find a deeper one, I'm gonna pick that up and maybe just a tad bit longer. Um, that's what I intend to do. I mean, we're gonna use these, but I also would like to display them on a shelf because I think they're really pretty. I picked this book up at Goodwill. I'm not sure how much their hardback books are, but they're not much. Like, I'm thinking it was like around a dollar. Um, but it says all about house plants. So, and I love the color of it. It's green. So it tells you in here about all different sorts of house plants. I looked through it the other day. It says it's got what house plants bring to the home, um, terrariums and bottle gardens, small plants, soil and potting mixtures pot and potting watering it tells you all different sorts of things pinching pruning and training propagation which we talked about in our last video um house plant enemies like pests and things like that that can sometimes come with house plants and then um miscellaneous plants all sorts of different things so very interesting book i'm gonna sit down and read it maybe i'll learn something new Got little pictures in there. Very good book. I'll check that out and let you know how it is. I recently also picked up this clock at Goodwill. I thought it was really cute. I'm gonna put it on my shelf in here. And this one was $3.99. It's metal and it's pretty heavy. So I think it's a pretty good quality little clock. I also picked up this basket. I really like this little basket. I think it'll be pretty on my black shelf. That's what I intend to do with it. Not sure what I'm gonna put in it yet. I'm still thinking about that, but $1.99 for this basket, I think was a really good price. And just a couple other things that I picked up that weren't like household related. Oh, actually, I did get this little thing here I thought was cute with the fruit on it. It is $1.99. I guess this is like a little trivet. A couple of things that I picked up that weren't household related is I picked up these Skechers. They're in really good condition. They look pretty new. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw them in the wash and they will definitely be good as new, but these were $9.99. So you can't beat that for a good pair of tennis shoes. I don't think. And then I also picked up a, just a couple of shirts. I got one for me and one for Timmy. And this week was red tag sale, so anything with a red tag on it was half off. So these were $2, $2 and some change. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I really liked this one. It's got a hood on it and then it's got little pockets in the front. So, I'll wash this and put it away for next winter or fall for next fall. It'll be nice and warm and cozy. And then Timmy, I got this one. This one was also a red tag. And this one is a Van Heusen, Van Housen. I don't know how you say that. Um, but I thought it was nice. It's like a dark gray with a little zippered front and he for some reason likes these little collars they drive me nuts i can't wear anything like that but he likes them so he can wear this anytime because he stays cold all the time okay so what i picked up at the thrift store which was the grace and mercy thrift store so i found these dishes as soon as i went into the store and I don't know if you can see the pretty little details on there. So it was a set of 15 for $6.50, but everything that day was 50% uh, off. So I got them for $3.25, which I thought was a good deal for 15 pieces. And then it also came with the little saucers. Now the saucers are a little different. It says um, OEG, Royal, and then Austria at the bottom. And 
And these are really pretty. You see the scallops on there? I love it. Y'all know how much I love my scallops. <laughs> Look at that, it's so pretty. These are definitely gonna be displayed. I think I'm gonna swap out the false craft ones that I have on that little, like, um, the little thing I have on my wall with the dishes on there. We're gonna swap those white plates out that I have on top for these because these are just too pretty to be sitting in a cabinet. <laughs> the last thing I picked up was this little oil lantern. I think it's so cute. I've kind of been looking for one like this, but I just wanted a small one. I didn't want a big one because I don't really have any place for a big one, but this one fits just perfect on my black shelf here in my living room. I really like the shape of it. Very pretty. And this is like, it's got antique on it, so I'm assuming it's pretty old. Um, this one, this is what I spent the most money on out of anything that I bought. It was regular $25. But it was half off so i gave 12.50 for it which is i mean it's probably good for this but that's i don't usually spend that much on anything at a thrift store so i really liked it so i went ahead and splurged on it i think it's gonna look really pretty on my shelf here so let's go ahead and display the things that we can display some of this stuff is just like you know things that you use like my glasses and things but other than that we'll go ahead and put these things away and i'll show you what i'm going to do with them i'm going to replace these white plates with these little nice little um scalloped ones So cute. Love it. So I ended up putting the little brass oil lamp on the top shelf. It's not exactly where I wanted it to be, but I couldn't seem to get it worked into any of the other shelves. I'll keep playing with it and see if I can figure something else. These shelves are not that deep. I wish they were so that I could layer things a little better. Um, but for now, that looks fine to me. I think it looks good there. And I really was happy with how it turned out on this shelf here with my basket that I just got. I wasn't sure what to put in it, so I just stuck some books in there and a faux plan. I think it looks pretty good. The bottom shelf is always hardest for me, so it pretty much just gets the leftovers. You want me to throw the squirrel again? Mm -hmm. Let me have your baby. You want me to take your baby? Are you... <laughs> you ready? One. Two. Okay. Give me the baby. Give me the baby. Nope. We don't fetch. We just go get. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Well, friends, I appreciate you watching, and I hope that you have a, a wonderful Memorial Day holiday and that you get to eat a lot of good pies and cakes and hot dogs <laughs> and all that good stuff that you're not supposed to have. <laughs> oh, beautiful for spacious skies. For amber waves of rain, for purple mountains, majesty above the fruited plains, America, America, God shed His grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea always be in prayer for those that are defending our country those that's in the service now and those that have been in the service and pray for those that's going to the service and their families and and uh, i believe we'll all be blessed thank you thank you very much for your service <laughs> See you next time. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And Timmy, I hope you enjoyed the music. And as always, we thank you guys so much for supporting our channel, for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting. We couldn't appreciate you more. I hope you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day and a wonderful week. We'll see you again in the next video.